guys! So today I am doing an empties video, which I am very excited about since I have never done one of these before. Oh my god. So I'm gonna go through and show you guys all the products that I have used up entirely, that I have zero product left in, and that I apparently really liked, because otherwise they would be like half-filled bottles at the bottom of my makeup collection, which is most products that I have. Alright, so starting this video off, I have a dry shampoo. This is the Batiste dry shampoo in a hint of color, deep and dark brown, dark and deep brown, yeah, that's what it is, there it is, so pretty. So obviously I use this because if you have oily hair or any kind of that business, you can use it in your hair and it gets rid of it and your totes good, but here's the thing, if you have dark hair and you try to use like traditional dry shampoos, a lot of times they'll leave like white patches in your hair that are really annoying to get out or you have to like sleep in them the night before and then wake up and then you still kind of have like gray hair. That is no fun. They came out with this color dry shampoo and it is my favorite thing ever. Plus it smells amazing. It smells like vanilla. Just really, really good vanilla. So highly recommend this and it's definitely an empties because I actually used it and really enjoyed it. <laughs> Next thing in my empties is the Ocean Salt Face and Body Scrub from Lush. Okay, so this stuff is literally completely gone. All the salt has crystallized in the bottom that's been left over and it is gone. I freaking loved this stuff. I had it for probably two weeks and used the entire tub up in two weeks because I didn't just use it on my face, I used it on anywhere that I had like rough dry patches on my elbows or my knees or right before I shaved. If I exfoliated with this first, every area of my body was like silky smooth after my shower and I just freaking freaking loved it. Uh, so I'm definitely gonna go back and get more of this. I'm probably gonna get the big size because why not? If I use the whole thing in two weeks, clearly I liked the product. The great thing about having an empty from Lush though is that if you keep these little black tins, because I have like, or tubs, if you keep the little black tubs, uh, if you collect five of them, you can go back and get a free face mask, which is awesome. I mean, like, ultimately you kind of paid for that face mask since you bought five overpriced products, but free stuff is free stuff, people, and that's a fact. So. Great empty right there. Next empty is a mascara, and this is the Lancome Definicil's Precious Cells Mascara. Now, this is like broken, actually. I can't even twist the top down, and it is completely all dried up and gone. And I use this to its fullest extent because I friggin' friggin' love this mascara. I'm saying I freaking love a lot of things, but I really, I freaking freaking love a lot of things. It's just how, it's how I roll. But this stuff is amazing because it is a lash growth serum mascara. So not only do you get awesome lashes just from the mascara, it grows them over a period of time, which I have actually seen this happen. I really, really do like this, and I think it really does have a growing power to it. The other great thing about it is that since it's like a little bit more of a dry formula, if you have small lashes and they fall flat pretty easily, this is awesome because it can pump up your lashes and give them volume without weighing them down, which is a great thing for a mascara to do. When this started getting a little older, I started using it as a layering mascara, so I would put this on first and then put on a lengthening mascara over it, and let me tell you, that was a great combination. I almost like this when it's a little bit aged, like a fine wine. Mm. Next empty is a BB cream, and this is the Rimmel London BB Beauty Balm 9-in-1 Skin Perfecting Super Makeup. This is what it looks like. I originally got this product because I worked with Rimmel London and did an entire tutorial based on a lot of their new makeup products and I used this in the tutorial kind of like having to use it and then I ended up loving it afterwards and it became a staple part of my everyday makeup routine for quite some time until it got all run out and I did not repurchase a new one. Not because I didn't love it, because it was really, really awesome. I actually love this product. But just because, I don't know, I was just trying out new face stuff and I just didn't buy a new one. But recently I got a new tube of it and it is amazing. Uh, the one thing I will say about it is that I think it comes in some pretty stark colors. So this is light and I think they have a medium and a dark maybe, but there's no in between. There's not like ivory or like, pale peach or anything like that. It's like all one tone color, which can be a little annoying since this can kind of tend towards almost a gray hue. Not the most attractive shade on me, but it ends up blending really, really well and it's kind of a nice base for like bronzer and blush if you're gonna be putting that on already. So, amazing product once again. I actually really like this and I was very, very pleasantly surprised by Rimmel London since I don't normally think of them as being that amazing in like the face skincare department, if you know what I'm saying, like, 
I don't know, I thought I was gonna break out, but I didn't. Next, empties is yet another lash growing product, and this is the Talica Liposills Expert Gel. Uh, so, if you've never heard of this before, this is a really, really well known uh, eyelash serum that's supposed to grow out your eyelashes and make them full and voluminous and all that kind of fun stuff. And I will say, it was actually amazing at its job. Like, after using this, I felt like my lashes were a lot healthier and they looked a lot better, but I used up the whole thing and there's just, you know, not anything really left. Uh, it comes with a little doe foot applicator on top of a mascara wand. And basically what you're supposed to do is brush this onto your lashes and then use the doe foot to put it on your lash bed. I will say this stuff is super great if you need just a little boost to your lashes, if you're wanting to do like a month long lash routine. This is great for that. I think I did, what I did was I used to cleanse my eyes with olive oil, which gets off all of your makeup without damaging any of the hairs on your face. And then I would use this after that and it was just, my lashes were amazing, I have to say. It was great. The next empty that I have is the Imperialis Facial Moisturizer from Lush. Yet another one of these black tubs. Oh yeah, I'm just three away, people. Um, so this was a moisturizer. Oh, what's going on in there, Imperialis? So this moisturizer literally just has like little random nubbins in it. I know it looks like it's not completely empty, but it's like moldy and gross. So empty, technically, considering I can't get any more product out of it. But this thing was amazing. I actually went and repurchased another one of these because it was such a good product that I decided I'm just gonna keep using it as my facial moisturizer. So this has been a key part of my skincare routine. If you watched my skincare routine, I uploaded recently, probably like maybe a month ago, you would have seen this in there and it is so great. It's great for combination skin, it's not too oily, it's not too moisturizing, it's just like a nice everyday thing to put on that does not irritate your face at all and it smells really, really good. And the last empties that I have is probably one of my favorite empties and it is an eyeliner. This is the Super Slim 12 Hour Infallible Liquid Eyeliner from L'Oreal. This is what it looks like, mm, yes. And then it just has a little felt tip applicator. This is what I use to do my eyeliner. I have three of these currently because I fell in love with this one and I didn't stop using it. So this isn't just like one empty, this is one of two empties. Uh, and it is amazing. If you have trouble making winged eyeliner, Look no further. This is the best liquid eyeliner pen you will ever find. I used this Stila 24-7 liquid liner for a while, but it's just more expensive. It's just like 10 bucks more expensive than this, and this does just as good of a job. So I figured I would just stick with this eyeliner, and it has paid off. I really love it, and I know it's in a lot of people's favorites videos, so yes, I'm counting this as a favorite and an empty. So there, boom. Nailed it. All right guys, so that is it for my empties video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you to the person who commented and let me know whether you wanted to see an empties video. Your comment is much appreciated. Don't forget to leave a comment below letting me know what you wanna see next and your comment might get featured on my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you liked it. And I will see you guys for the next video. Bye.